Hey, what's up, you guys? Back for another In My Bag. This would be In My Bag 4. Uh, I know you guys are probably getting sick of all the In My Bags, but, you know, my bags change a lot. Um, because I get more discs, and I take discs out that are an old and beat in. I don't need any more stuff like that. So we're going to go over again. Welcome to In My Bag 4. Okay. First, so first off, I still have my fade bag. Nothing's changed with the bag itself. Um, but I do have, I now have a end of a mini driver. So that old marker disc. Um, money you might know, some of you might not. My cousin, uh, Jacob, plays disc golf now. I got him into disc golf. And I set up him a bag, which I'll show later on in the video. I'll, go, I'll pull it out and show you. I, got, I just got him an old fade bag off my friend Blake and um, put like loaded it with a bunch of discs for him because he doesn't have many so I hooked him up so Jacob happy birthday and you're welcome buddy um, but here's my mini driver Innova it's actually 175 grams funny story this was returned I returned a guy's disc out of a lake and he gave me that as a reward so uh, thank you Mark a little shout out if you ever see this video um, so we'll talk putters. I carry three putters. Uh, last video, um, I had three, but one's changed. Um, I knew I said in the other video I'd never get rid of the judge, but I did, and you'll see why. So I carry three putters. I carry a Soft Magic, a Lat 64 Dagger, and I carry a um, and I carry a Prodigy PA3. I have a PA2 in my other bag, and I think that was in the video last time. I just can't remember properly, but uh, this is a PA3. Now, the reason why I carry these three discs, some of you actually throw these, might you know think that they're pretty similar. Here's the thing. So if you look at the dome on a dagger, now. Many of you know that if if you see my other in my bags, um, I used to be a big aviator head, man. I used to throw aviators every day, all day. Only putter I would ever trust to my name. That's it. That's all. Dunzo. Boom. I only threw a JK Pro aviator, and then I got some DX aviators, and I used to throw those. I used to love the DX plastic. Well, when I got... When I needed something harder, I started moving to, towards harder putters. And when I moved to harder putters, I got the dagger through Lat64. Um, shout out to uh, Matthew Sherrod. Uh, thanks, buddy, for hooking me up with those Lat discs, and I'm sure I'll come back for more. Um, here you go. So, the story on the dagger. Any of you who know the Lat64 Pro... Um, Dave Feldberg, that's the signature right there. Uh, this disc was approved and co-designed by Dave Feldberg. Dave Feldberg, like me, when he was, before he was sponsored, um, I'm not sponsored, but he is, uh, before he was sponsored and now he's a pro, um, he used to throw aviers, he'd putt with aviers and stuff like that. Well, when he went over to Lat64, well now he's, he got in on Lat64, but He's technically sponsored by Trilogy. Um, now that uh, now that he he um, moved over to Trilogy and whatever, he they didn't have anything that flew like an aviator. So he may he helped make this disc, the Dagger. Say DF approved, Dave Feldberg approved, stable button approach. And this is pretty much a aviator with a lat with a lat sticker. And you see that little ridge right there. On the end of that, we'll talk about that ridge. But first, something you'll know about all my putters. Okay? Putt with three. This is a gateway magic. Flies a lot like the, that dagger does, except it doesn't have that lip. There's no second lip there. It's all one. See that? But check out the dome on this. If you look at the dome, the dome comes up 
off of a bump in the disc and then it goes up and keeps going up and then flattens out and then goes down right but it doesn't it sticks out instead of in this actually has a dome okay this one my PA3 if you remember on the Dave Feldberg disc that ridge we have that here yeah, you see that nice little ridge right there? There you go. But if you look at this dome, this dome is inverted. It sticks in instead of coming out. And uh, this is my driving putter. I use this for drives, stuff like that. And I also use it for long putts, but we'll, we'll get into that later. But now if you look at the dagger, the dagger goes up completely flat. There's no rays in the dome. So it's like this it's like the center way between the three. Um I use my my um gateway for anything up close shots, something where you know I need a nice uh a nice, you know, kinda almost like a, a hook shot. Um I normally put sideways with it like that and I snap and when I snap it flips the disc out straight and flat. Um if I need something just dead straight but a little bit more distance, I'll go with a dagger. Um, just like a little snap, let it fly straight, kind of hook in. Anything that I need a stable, more stable putter or something a little straighter, I can put this flat on an anti line on a high, or on an anti line on a hydro line. Thing will do whatever I need it to, but I drive with this as well. Um, I just I, I just got this the other day from my friend Blake. Shout out to Blake, thanks, buddy. I uh, appreciate doing business with you. Got that from Blake as well. And that is my putters. Now we'll move into the mid-ranges. I carry two mid-ranges in my bag. I carry, and most of you would be like, that's kind of stupid, but just shut up. Anyway, <laughs> I carry a, um, a tournament stamped um, Discraft Buzz somewhere on the inside of this thing. It says buzz. There it is. I don't know if you guys can see this. Discraft. There you go. You can kind of see it. Discraft buzz. Yeah, most Discraft discs, not a lot of people know that, but most Discraft discs, especially one that aren't Discraft stamp and have the name on it, will have the name of the disc on the inside of the rim. And I carry a Innova Rock, inside stamp rock. Um, I use this as almost like a drive with a mid-range, like if I need something that'll go far but not quite as far as a driver. Um, I can almost throw this farther than some of my drivers. Unfortunately, it's very glidey. But if I need something where I'm just going to throw it straight, I'll do that. Something where I need an understable anti-flip, I'll use this. Or something where I need a big hyzer bomb, I'll use this. Um, and I need, anything I need that I know that I'll overthrow with that, I'll use this or the PA3. Now into my drivers. I don't have any. Uh, I don't have any fairway drivers, even though technically two of these should realistically be fairway drivers. Um, I have a Discraft Flick rated at a 2.5. Um, oh, I didn't tell you what plastics these are in. Sorry. Uh, Magic is in there, soft, gateway, um, latitude zero, hard plastic for the dagger. Um, I believe, I'm not sure what plastic this is. All I know is that it's hard as hell, and it's got a, I think that's the prototype stamp. I'm not sure. Z, all my almost all of my discrafts are Z. Um, this is a uh, I'm not sure. It doesn't say on it. I want to say it's Pro. Could be DX. I don't know. I found that in the lake. Um, I, uh, this is Z, of course. <clears throat> okay. I have a Innova Turn, Star Turn. You'll notice that I have a lot, a couple um, very understable drivers. Some of them came out of the mold wrong and they're not as understable as you'd think. But that flick, that flick is beefy. Star Turn. Um, very, very overstable disc, or understable disc. Um, 
I just got this last night. Thanks again, Blake. Um, <laughs> but I haven't really had a, a good chance to throw it, but I know that I can hydro flip it like a boss, and it'll go a mile. I, that's the only thing I use that for is hydro flips. Uh, then we have a uh, motion... Um, a uh, motion in neutron plastic by MVP. Um, I use this for when I really when I need a uh, when I need an overstable drive. I use this. Um, I'll throw it flat and it'll curve back and then it'll hit the ground and just get this big, nice, beautiful skip, um, which is really what MVPs are known for. But it's a little beefy and it takes some pretty good arm speed to throw. My resistor. My resistor is like throwing a flick lip. You can see the lip on that. Um, it's got kind of close to a flick slip here. Show you. So that's the flick right there. It kind of comes up like that. And then you got the resistor. The resistor doesn't fly anything like the flick though. I mean, it, it's got that really strong over stability. But it, I wouldn't say it flies like the flick. So, that's the resistor. Um, I use that. For you know, you know, big um, anti flips where I need it to come back and come over, and I use it for big flat stable drives where I need it to fly flat, come up and hook, and short drives where I need to fly and hook and skip. That disc is really skippy, um, and it has this is also neutron plastic and it has the chains for brains um, stamp on it. My only proton plastic uh, MVP disc I own is an inertia. Um, this is supposed to be really understable. I kind of get a little understability out of it, but not much. Um, I use this for really, really long distance drives where I need something that'll kind of barely hook to the left and then bank out right, but nice and slow for you. Not something that's just going to kind of like cut down. Um, I have an Innova Valkyrie that I hardly ever throw, but um, I do throw it. And the reason why I have the Valkyrie in my bag is because you never know when you'll need a Valkyrie or a max distance drive, something nice and slow. And the Valkyrie's always been a, a foolproof plan for that. So I keep that around. I have a uh, Lat 64 Saint, um, courtesy of my dad, gold plastic. Uh, I throw this a lot. It's, this is nice and unstable. Um, if I get a good snap on it and release it nice and flat, it'll fly out. And it'll kind of come out this way a little bit more than the Valkyrie, and then it'll come back, but nice and soft and strong. Um, very good disc. I recommend that highly. A G Star Dominator. Love the. I love the Dominator. Um, not a big fan of the plastic. Uh, leave a comment in the video if you want me to do a review on the plastics or any of the plastics you've seen here, or any of the discs. You know, if you want to see them thrown, I can. I can arrange that. But the G-Star is a lot like Innova, or a lot like Discraft's Flex. I mean, it's very, very flexy and stuff, and like it bends really, really easy. But it is, I will, I will give it this. It is the most durable freaking plastic ever. If you're, if you're a backhander, you should love this fine. If you're a forehander, not so much. You know, us backhanders, we throw like this. Well, them forehanders, like my dad, you know. Some people put their hand on the rim, rim down here, but the thing is, it's so floppy. And then if you put your thumb in the middle, you bend the disc, it distorts the way it flies. So I'd stay away from G-Star if you're like one of those big heavy groupers. A West Side World uh, Tournament Plastic. Um, I love I love West Side Drivers, one of my favorites of all time. Latin West Side. Um, tournament Plastic, 14-414. Um, this is just straight like beefcake, dude. Like, I don't understand. I don't think I can stress enough how freaking overstable this disc is. And it says it's a speed 14. I believe it. But, you know, I rip it as hard as I can and the thing will turn on me like crazy. Like, so like the, the end of a turn, this is like the opposite this is like the turns under stability but flipped into over stability. Like this thing, it'll go out and if I put it on a big any line, it'll literally turn back over and come back and like chop. And I think it's because this disc is too beefy for me. Um, so leave me a comment if you throw it better than I do. 
uh, and try to tell me what I'm doing wrong. I get nice, you know, even re releases, and I have really, really good arm speed. I really get some good snap. I throw, I can throw about 300 feet, 325, and I, this disc just don't agree with me. So, leave me a comment if you know anything about that. And this is my baby. This is my West Side King. I love that at a 14.5, negative 1.4. I love this disc. And what I use it for is one thing and one thing only. This disc is not a utility disc. This, like the flick. This disc does not only have one purpose and one purpose only. There's almost hardly ever one game where this does not come out of my bag at least three times. And that is because this disc, you know, I rip it straight. And the thing will just kind of like, it'll give me a little bit of an S-curve. Not much, but it'll just keep going in an S-curve. Just drifting. Just keep drifting. And then it'll come down. And then it'll have a nice, smooth landing. I guess it's the way it came out of the mold. It's not as good as my yellow one. I don't know if I made a video when I had the king. When I had that king. But if I did, it's not it's not as good as that one. But it'll, it'll definitely work. Well... Thank you guys for watching. Those are all my drivers, putters, and this is what's in my bag. Uh, leave a comment in the leave a comment or video response telling me if you want a um, specific disc looked at um, or have a review done. I have no problem doing that for you guys. Uh, you guys are my world. Um, I know that I don't have many viewers, and I know that I have like no subscribers. I have like eight. Like, I'm not going to lie. I don't have that many subscribers. And that's because I don't tell people to subscribe to my videos. I mean, you subscribe if you like. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's... But the one the ones out there that do watch my videos, I love you guys, man. You guys are my life force. You're the right reason why I keep doing these videos. Um, leave a comment, video response, telling me if you want any of these discs reviewed individually. Um, and I'll get on that. Uh... Go check out, um, go check out my friend, or go check out my other channel, uh, Robert's Disc Golf. I think I have some other disc golf videos. Um, subscribe to it if you subscribe to this channel, um, because this, this video will probably be up on there too. Um, so yeah, go check that out. We'll get that done. Um, I got some gaming videos coming on the way, for like, um, I think some Clash of Clans, um, some flappy weed, some stuff like that, uh, turbo dismount. I got some games coming on the way. So uh, stay tuned, check those out. Uh, once I get a good um, amount of them done, uh, I'm going to post them up in the middle of the night or something one night. Once I get a good amount of them done, and that way, you know, they'll be up there. And then I'll just turn them on um, public as I need to release them. I think I'll release about uh, two a week. I'll probably do it on Tuesdays and Thursdays or something like that on my channel so leave a comment below uh if you want that to happen and we'll we'll go from there but thanks for watching you guys um i'll go show you the bag that i've created for jacob and i'll sign off okay guys so <clears throat> just walked in the house this is the bag that i created for jacob it's the exact same fade bag just doesn't have the camo cover instead it's orange and black which is my high school colors, funny enough. Um, so right now he's rocking this little uh, marker disc I gave him. Uh, and he's got a dynamic disc pencil, just like me. And a little tournament pencil. Let's we'll take a look at what he's got. Hey, you're going to get this open. Hold on.